Coming up, the difference between a nice steamy shower and a scalding hot burn is a mechanism and two one hundredths of an inch. She has no idea that as she enjoys a shower, her comfort and safety are being monitored by a mechanism, a thermostatic valve. Thermo, temperature, static, not moving. It's a veritable smart dam that controls the flow of water. This dam adjusts in real time to prevent fluctuations in water temperature. So where are the printed circuits and microprocessors? Nowhere. It's entirely mechanical. Its mechanics are so ingenious it uses change to create stability. In the thermostatic valve, the problem leads to the solution. Okay, so how does it work? It's time to get down and dirty. Here's the valve. Two handles, a cartridge, a pierced cylinder, and a white plastic cylinder attached to a thermostat. Right here we have everything we need not only to control the temperature, but to automatically keep it at that level. Turning the upper handle allows water in. The lower handle moves the white cylinder attached to the thermostat backward or forward. That movement changes the amounts of hot and cold water. How? Well, there are two entries, one for hot water and one for cold water. The hot water gets a bit more room. That's normal. Typical showers use an average of 60% hot water and 40% cold. On the cartridge are six slots, three in the front and three in the back. Hot water comes in through the rear slots, passes through the holes in the cylinder in the center of the cartridge, reaches the thermostat and finally pours from the shower head. Cold water comes in through the front slots, passes through the holes in the cylinder and slips into the space between the white plastic cylinder and metal surface. The size of this space depends on the position of the handle. The larger the space, the greater the amount of cold water that's allowed to come in. By turning the tap, we control the amount of cold water that mixes with hot water. Huh, interesting. But once it's done, the valve all by itself keeps things constant at all times. How? The slightest variation in temperature causes the thermostat to react. Zero electronics, just a copper shaft filled with paraffin. If water around the thermostat gets too hot, the paraffin expands and pushes the white plastic cylinder. The space between the white plastic cylinder and the metal surface widens, allowing more cold water to squeeze through. Simple, but impressive. The shaft containing the paraffin can move a maximum of six-tenths of a millimeter, the width of six sheets of paper. Pretty small, but over a period of 10 minutes, that 0.6 millimeter difference can mean 50 more liters of cold water. Enough to correct those temperature variations that often happen when we take a shower. But a flushing toilet can mean a sudden and drastic dip in cold water pressure. When that happens, a second mechanism jumps into action. Cold water pressure suddenly nosedives. In the valve, hot water pressure on one side of the pierced cylinder becomes greater than cold water pressure on the other side. This pressure difference pushes on the pierced cylinder. The holes shift relative to the slots in the cartridge. This movement allows more cold water to enter than hot water. Voila, the problem is the solution. When cold water pressure returns to normal, the cylinder returns to its original position. Thanks to these simple devices, no more hot and cold or cold and hot. Inanimate objects displaying intelligence. There's no question the shower is high tech. Or rather, the shower accomplishes high tech results thanks to near primitive mechanisms. But using an overflow of hot water to cool water or using a surplus of cold water to heat water. Wow. Simple means, impressive results the pinnacle of technological innovation. Next, on Deconstructed, it's 